Hey guys, Javino here with some more Moon info for you. Now today I'll be analyzing the newly released gameplay footage of Moon that was released on G4TV.com. Now uh, before we get started, I would just like to clear up a couple things. I am not claiming f ownership of any of these pictures, footage, anything. Credit for all this goes to G4TV.com. I just don't want to have any uh, copyright issues with them because the last thing I need on my account is a copyright strike. So uh, you might see this video disappear if other people start getting hit for stuff like that from uh, G4 or Activision. But other than that, let's get going. Now this first screenshot here you'll see is just somebody reloading a stakeout, but you'll see kind of like a little appearing green thing. Now that appearing green thing is actually a Nova 6 crawler because apparently in this game, in uh, Moon rather, they have the ability to teleport or turn invisible. It's hard to tell at this moment because there's not very much footage of it, but they just kind of like pop around like freaking popcorn. They're like, boop, 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 is basically the best way to describe it. Now I'll put the link to the trailer in the description of this video so you guys can see, or not the trailer, the footage rather. And uh, in the second screenshot here, it's just kind of linked to the first one. You'll see that um, this is actually just a few frames after because you'll see it's still reloading. And those things, there definitely wasn't like four of them now. Now there's four of them or three of them or something. So they teleport around, turn invisible, stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't really have any exact statement as to what a phaser zombie is, but I'm kind of changing my ideas because now it seems more like these are the phaser zombies because they can more or less fade in and out of sight and more it's kind of like appear in and out of sight, but I don't know, maybe if they get too far away they kind of just turn invisible and get closer and pop back into sight, but uh, again, it's pretty hard to tell from this. Now this uh, third screenshot here, it, this is kind of the first of a group of three, you'll see that there's just the name Resurrection 03 and you're like, oh, what's that about? Well, you see, this is actually what it looks like to get attacked by one of the new astronaut zombies. And from what we can tell from this, it actually steals one of the names of a player. Now, I know Syndicate and uh, the commentators of this footage were, they appear to be confused because they're like, oh, well, ap apparently your fellow players can get infected and controlled and like turned against you or something like that. But that is not the case because if you look on the right side, you'll see two arrows indicating that you are there, and then that your other two allies, because if you look in the bottom right, there's only three people. So your two allies are to the right of you. So that means that this is not one of your allies, it's just an enemy. So uh, it appears that my theory was correct, and these things are the ultimate troll zombies, because they just kind of pretend to be your allies and then screw you over. And what I mean by screw you over is in the second screenshot, you'll see it just looks like a random screenshot, but that's actually what happens after an astronaut attacks you. It just kind of... Uh, from what I can tell, it teleports you to a random part of the map. Now, whether there's actually designated spots or not, uh, I can't tell because it only shows just one clip of someone being teleported. But either way, that will get really annoying because I know the last thing I want to happen is just get thrown in some corner of the map because that's a pretty good way to die if you, <laughs> if you have a death wish. Now, this uh, third screenshot here of the group is kind of different because you'll see on the left side there's an astronaut zombie, but... Its name's different, it's Spationaut Laura, and I think, I don't know, I don't know my German or anything, but that sounds to me like it's German for astronaut. So, we saw before that it had the ability to steal names, but you'll see that the players in this are Zombie Res 1, Zombie Res 3, and it's assumed that you're a Zombie Res 2, and that is definitely not any of the names that Spationaut Laura or Astronaut Laura, so either I have two theories here. The first one being that either A, it can spawn and steal someone's name, or it can just generate its own name, the astronauts, that is. Or my second theory is that this uh, astronaut Laura chick actually has something to do with the Easter egg, and she might, I don't know, show you around, or maybe she was, like, trapped in the moon base or something like that, because I know all the Easter eggs involve saving somebody. But, um, again, kind of too early to tell. Now this uh, screenshot here is a pretty big one. It shows that the Hellhounds are definitely back in this map, but it appears that they're constrained to Area 51, because you'll see that we're also in Area 51 in this screenshot. So um, I'm thinking that kind of the Nova 6 crawlers are on the moon area, and the Hellhounds are in the Area 51 area. Now the only thing is that um, a little detail that I left out is the Nova 6 crawlers. They actually cannot go onto the moon surface because there's footage of uh, Nova 6 Zombie just trying to crawl out. In the millisecond he goes out a door, he just kind of instantly dies and floats up into the sky, which is pretty good. So if you don't like those Nova Crawlers, you can just kind of chill out on the moon and you won't have any trouble with them. Now, it seems if you go down to Area 51, then you start, these uh, Hellhounds start spawning. Now, again, we're, we're lacking the round counter. 
because we're in Area 51, and for some reason when you go to Area 51, your round counter disappears, and that still confuses me. I have no idea why that would happen. I guess the round's irrelevant when you go down there, but why that is, I have no clue. Now this next screenshot, you'll see that uh, it's just Deadshot Dacry's back, just like to point that out. You'll see that on the right here, Jug's back, and that's on the entrance to Area 51, or one of the entrances, because it seems like there's multiple. And uh, this is the new perk. It's called Mule Kick, as you'll see. And uh, here's a close-up of the machine. You'll see it is indeed called Mule Kick, and it costs $4,000, which is pretty expensive. That would rank it as the most expensive perk, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty certain now that it will give you a third weapon slot because of the achievements. One of the achievements is to have three pack-a-punched weapons at once, and from what we can tell, this is the only new perk. So that is pretty conclusive that this is going to give you a third weapon. Now, uh, this screenshot here is kind of a modified one of the one before the uh, Mule Kick machine, but if you look in the background, you'll actually see a pack-a-punch machine, kind of uh, maybe, I don't know, in between the left edge and the juggernaut, you'll see a pack-a-punch machine way in the background down there. So it appears that the pack-a-punch machine is located in Area 51, like many people had assumed. Now, this next screenshot's just showing if you look kind of uh, in between the middle and the right edge, you'll see kind of claymores on the back box there. Now, whether it's some kind of modified version of the claymore, or it's just claymores, or spike mores, or something else mores, it's hard to tell because uh, spike mores didn't modify the outline at all, and it doesn't look like anybody's purchased it, so I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. And uh, this is a big one here. I've got a few shots of things coming out of the box, but you'll see that the Gersh devices are back in this map. And um, people had just assumed, because we saw the Gersh device icons, but it looked like when you threw a, um, a QED, it, the QED used the same icon as the Gersh device. But it appears that the uh, Gersh device uses the Gersh device icon, obviously. And the QED looks more kind of like a knife or a little, uh, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like a little gray diagonal line, and you'll see it in a couple of these screenshots. Now, uh... It's definitely, in my opinion, going to be pretty hard to replace the Gersh device because the Gersh device is really good for saving people's lives and getting out of tough situations. So that QED better be worth it because from what I can tell, it's just kind of a big cluster bomb. Now, um, this next screenshot is just the QED coming out of the box and you'll see that it's just this little tiny thing. Little kind of like the size of three or four grenades stacked in a line. And now here is a good one. This is, uh, my friend uh, Starburst and I kind of spent a while working on this, and this is what we've come up with on how the Wonder Weapon's going to work. You'll get it out of the box is these two pistols. Now, um, I'm not sure what the unupgraded version is called, but it actually shows the name of the upgraded version, the uh, two individual pistols on a future screenshot, and they're called the Porter's X2 Zap Gun Dual Wield. And that's the upgraded version, not the unupgraded version, but it's assumed that the uh, unupgraded, ver unupgraded version is just the ray gun and zap gun dual wield or something like that. But it appears that the left-handed gun is kind of like a one-handed wonder waft, just that uh, jolt and you shoot it and electrify zombies. And the right hand is actually just kind of a modified ray gun. It appears to just be the classic ray gun, just kind of a different skin on it. And then uh, how the wave gun is formed, you'll see in this next picture, it's the wave gun. And then the picture after this, you'll see that on the D-pad there is a noob tube option. You're like, oh, he's probably just holding a skull crusher in his extra slot. But um, that is not the case because you'll see he has 21 noob tubes. And the skull crusher definitely does not give you 21 noob tubes. That's a little overkill. So uh, how this works is you'll have the two guns and then you'll have that noob tube kind of slide, so slide slot thing with a whole bunch of shots on it and when you pull that out you basically slam the two guns together and that's the attachment that's the new tube is the wave gun and when you shoot the wave gun it takes away from that uh, 21 number the 21 noob tubes and it doesn't actually affect the ammo of the individual guns it appears and then you can just hit that button again and it'll rip it in half into two individual guns again so uh, here's just the screenshot of the two individual guns and you'll see that they're called the porters x2 zap gun dual wield and um yeah, you'll see that the noob tube number went down after, because he just fired one more shot before he cut it in half. Now, uh, changing paces here, here's just kind of a little thing. There's uh, another power switch here. If you remember one of my other videos, you'll see that I talked about a power switch, but this appears to be a second power switch, so it appears 
that there actually might be more than one power switch, which uh, power more than one teleporter. So this is what I'm thinking, that there might be multiple ways to get to Area 51. You kind of activate the uh, teleporter and then teleport to a different part, depending on which teleporter you're in, because there's one in that big hangar we saw originally in the Inside Xbox video, and the one we saw in this video is kind of in a different hangar. So I think there might be probably three teleporters, because Treyarch likes the number three. But uh, that's all I've seen in this, is just these two. And uh, here, this is quite interesting. It appears they've added another drop, at least one. If you look kind of to the left of that Resurrection 01 player, you'll see a floating, spa a floating spas shotgun with the kind of the blue aura around it. And um, this is what happens when you pick it up. You just get a spas. And from what I can tell, it just runs out when you run out of ammo or something along those lines. It doesn't actually show them running out of ammo, so you might keep it, it might replace your gun, who knows. Now, um, whether it's just a spas, which would be kind of weird, they might just kind of drop random weapons around the map, that'd be strange. And it also appeared it just kind of materialized. It didn't actually drop from a zombie from what I saw. So uh, this is kind of mind-boggling, and uh, we're probably going to have to wait till Saturday when Inside Xbox releases their huge zombie footage, whatever, to uh, see more about this. Now this screenshot here is kind of hard to see, but if you look in the back right corner of this room, you'll see kind of a little computer terminal. And I've, I've noticed one of these before, but I think how this is going to work is um, those are the radios. I think you're going to have to hack into the terminal, because if you've actually seen the achievement list, there's uh, achievement for something along the lines of hack something in the moon map or whatever. So I think you have to hack into the computer terminal. Now how that works, I have no idea. And then it plays some sort of audio clip, or maybe even a video clip, because it has a screen. And, um, yeah, so I think that might be the radio system for this map, those little uh, computer terminals. Now, this is the last picture here, and, again, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to figure out what's going on here. This is just strange. I'm almost guaranteeing you it has something to do with the Easter egg. But you've got, like, a big black pyramid with kind of this wheel in the, in, uh, the front there. And I have no idea how this works. Now, I've seen one of those wheels just kind of laying around, so I'm assuming you might have to pick it up and drop it on there. But other than that, I really have no idea what's going on here. But other than that, that's about all I could pull from this gameplay footage. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more Moon Info. Chances are the next video you're going to see from me it will be on Saturday when Inside Xbox releases their uh, new Moon gameplay footage. But until then, thanks for watching, and see you guys.